Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the Message Buffer 01 for free RTOS on ESP32. Okay, so the Message Buffer is very similar with the Stream Buffer, but there are a few differences between each other. Okay, so let's take a look at this picture first. Assume we have t one task to send data into the uh, message buffer, another task to read it out. And uh, in the beginning, we already send three messages into the message buffer. But for the receive task, each receive will only will be able to only receive one message. For example, uh, receive one and receive message zero one. And another receive action receive message zero two. And the last uh, receive action receive message zero three. But for the stream buffer is different. For the stream buffer is different. Assume we have a stream buffer here, we have three data, uh, data 0, 1, data 0, 2, data 0, 3. For one receive action, as long as the receive buffer big enough, uh, it will receive all the time uh, in one receive action. Okay. Okay, so how we how we do the coding and prove the difference? Uh, let's take a look at the let's take a look at the code. Okay, so this code is from previous lessons, and uh, we will need two tasks. So task one and task two, we remove the task three. Okay, remove the task three. So the first things, uh, let's take a look at the message buffer. Okay. For the message buffer, we have similar function, uh, message buffer create. It need to uh, include the message buffer head, this head file, okay? So uh, the first thing, we include the head file first. So this is for stream buffer, okay? We change this one. This is message buffer. And uh, we will use the message buffer create function to create the message buffer handle. And uh, this is the buffer size. Uh, the first difference, the input permit here is only buffer size. And for the stream buffer, it has another input parameter, which is the trigger level size, okay? So here we define uh, we define our message buffer handle here. Message buffer handle. This is a uh, message buffer handle. We save it. And uh, next we create our message buffer is here. Copy this one, put it here. And this is also a message message buffer create. Here uh, we it only for the message buffer it only has one input parameter is the buffer length. Let's assume we use one thousand as the input parameter. We save it. And this is uh, a message buffer fail to create message buffer. Okay, so we create the message buffer. Next, we need to input, we need to send three message uh, as we talk about here. We need to send the three message into the message buffer first. How we do it? We uh, we will uh, send the three message into the task one, and we remove the 
while loop first we only need to send three message format document and here we no need to delay it remove this I define here and we will use the we will use the for loop we use the for loop to send the three message i i equal to zero and i less than three and i plus plus use the for loop to send the three message and we will copy all of this code into here so the message will be still the same hello world i'm michael number i uh, the i will change here it means uh, number zero number one number two this is three message we create by the sprint f and uh, we send it out uh, here this is string buffer so we need to change to message buffer sent okay the message buffer sent is very similar with the stream buffer okay is very similar with the stream buffer and here we also print out the buffer length and send by we can print out the i here okay it will tell uh, how many time we send into the uh, message buffer so we format the document a little bit here. for the message buffer sent we can check it in our document in the menu so it will be here so uh, message buffer sent this is the buffer handle this is a uh, uh, point to the uh, send data this is a data length this is a tickets to wait it's similar with the uh, uh, stream buffer set okay so this is the task one since we didn't use the wire loop uh, we need to uh, delete the task we use uh, we task delete delete the current task to delete it so by this way we will only send we will only send three message into the uh into the message buffer here we need to change it as the message buffer okay we need to change it as the message buffer we send the three message hello i'm michael number uh, zero one two send it into this buffer okay and print it out the i and the the byte the send byte okay so this is for the send uh, we will use the task one to send the three message into the message buffer then here we we go uh, we take a look at the task two the task two is a receive buffer uh, is a receive task we change this receive buffer a little bit a little bit bigger so it's like a 200 it's big enough uh, it's big enough to receive all the three message all the three message and uh, here we still use the memory set to initialize the buffer this one will be use the message buffer receive okay this is a message buffer handle okay so this is a receive buffer this is a buffer size and this size is big enough to receive all the three message but we will check it will take how many times to receive the uh, buffer uh, to receive the 
to receive the message. If it is only one time, uh, it will print the data here in one time. If need need, if need take three times, it will print three times information here. Okay. And uh, before the while loop, before the while loop, we use. We use some delay to wait the um, task one finish the sending first. We use three second. We use three second. We delay three second to block the task two for three second, and to make the task one will have the time to finish the sending first. Means. It means before we receive message, we already have three message in the buffer. We already have the three message in the buffer, and we will see for each time receiving whether we will receive one message or we will receive the three message together. Okay, okay. So. Uh, this is uh, uh, this is uh, task two. Okay, this is uh, task two. So let's uh, let's review the the code a little bit. Okay. So here, this is the include uh, uh, message buffer head head file. This is string head file. This string head files for memory set function. And this is the define for message buffer handle, and this task one is to send three message hello world and Michael into the message buffer by using the message buffer send function. After each send, we will print out the I and the send byte. This send means in task one, okay. After these three uh, message sending, we will delete the task one. This is for the task one. For the task two, we will delay for three seconds. Wait, task one finish the sending, uh, to guarantee we have three message in the message buffer, and then we use the message buffer receive function. Receive the message into the receive day receive buffer. Okay, this buffer big enough to have three message inside the buffer, and we will check for each receive whether we can only receive one message or three message. Okay, so this is ah、uh, this is the call. Let's open our ah.、Uh, Command line in compile environment. Okay, so first things, let's go into our folder, my code and hello world. And we will use IDFPE to compile the APP call. It's building the C file. Just a moment. Is linking the ELF file and generate bin file. Okay, so we use the app fresh to fresh the code. To fresh the code. And then we will open our monitor to see the output information. Okay, so we already send three message. We already send three message into the、uh, message buffer, but for three 
but for receive task for task two, it take three receive action to receive the message each. Each receive for one message. This is hello world. I'm Michael. Number zero. Number one. Number two. It take three receive action to receive these three message. Okay, so let's take a look at the um, uh, stream buffer. So for the for the message buffer, uh, each each receive will receive one message. But for stream buffer is different. If the receive buffer big enough, it will take the stream data in one time. Okay, so how we prove it? How we prove it? Let's take a look. So we also uh, we change the we change the call from message buffer to the stream buffer again. So here this is uh, need to. Is for the we change this message to stream buffer and uh, the handle is also use the stream buffer handle change it to back this is stream buffer handle okay this is a stream buffer handle save it and here this is a stream buffer send. This is a stream buffer send. This is a stream buffer handle. Okay. The others is the same. For task two, for task two, we use the stream buffer receive. Stream buffer receive, and this is a stream buffer handle. Okay. Here is still the stream buffer, and this is a stream buffer create. Here, for the stream buffer, it has a trigger level, a trigger level data. We like uh, make it ten. Okay. So this is a stream buffer. So you will see a uh, stream buffer and the message buffer is very similar. Uh, the function name, even the function name just changed from the message to stream. And the only difference is the create. For the stream buffer, it has a trigger level setting here. OK, so let's go back to take a look again. So this is a uh, head file. This is uh, handle defy. And this is uh, uh, send, uh, stream buffer send. Send these three stream data into the stream buffer. And uh, here is print out how many times we send it into the stream buffer. And uh, this is uh, task two. It uh, used the stream buffer receive receive data into the uh, receive buffer and print it out. So if in one time we receive all the data, we can see only one print out. Okay, okay. So that's it. We compile it and see the difference. Okay. So we use the IDF PE APP compile it. So building the C file link generating generating. Link ELF file. Okay, and we use app fresh to download the call. Okay, we open the monit.
Okay, so you will see, you will see here, this is sending three stream data into the stream buffer, and here we receive all the data in one time. So this, this bytes plus this plus this and equal to this. And uh, the actual data is here. I'm Michael number zero and the number one and the number two. So for stream buffer, as long as the stream buffer big enough, it will receive all the stream data in one receive action. But for the uh, message buffer, it will able to receive it will able to separate each message, each message, ah, uh, for each receive action. So why it will, uh, why why will this happen? Okay, let's take a look at the menu. For the um, take a look at the message buffer. The message buffer create. So for the message buffer. Uh, the message buffer will um for the message buffer ah uh, it will have one additional size of bytes ah uh, to store the message length ah uh, this is the difference is the critical difference for the message buffer it has a it has an additional uh, size of bytes to store the message length into the message buffer. So for the receive action, it can it can read every message for each receive action. Okay, so this is the why. So uh, this is the first difference for the. Um, uh, between the message buffer and the stream buffer. And uh, this is for this video. I'm Michael. See you next time.